Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. Oh, this is your weekly reading for Aries. So first I'm going to focus on your finances. What does Aries need to know about their job, their finances? Clarity please, for Aries. Okay, yeah, a lot of focus on money, maybe something to do with the past. Uh -huh. But it's definitely grounded practical. I feel like you're being sensible how you're spending your money. Yeah, I feel like you're stable. Yeah, you're manifesting more. You have everything you need, but you're ready to manifest more. You might be revisiting something from the past, some of you. Something that you wanted to do, maybe you never did. Now maybe you have the tools, the information, the knowledge to do this. Yeah, very nice. Your money. Yeah, some of you are holding on to your money. You're saving it. Yeah, because you're trying to manifest something here. There's something you want to do. Like I say, you could be revisiting something, okay? Or how you spent your money in the past maybe is different than now, but I feel like you have everything you need, okay? I feel like you're stable, but it's an energy of being sensible, practical, how you spend your money, <laughs> saving it to not, if there's something that you want, and if you don't need it, put it back, Okay? Practical and sensible. That's what I'm seeing for you. Let's grab a couple of cards for clarity. Here, I'll use this deck here. So Aries, let's have a look at the Queen of Pentacles. We'll just clarify that a little bit. Yeah, so I do feel, um, no, you've left the past in the past here. You're going down a new path. There's something else you're manifesting. You might be saving money to do it because you have everything you need here. Yeah, manifesting more. Yeah, see, thinking things through. You're thinking things through. You're making decisive decision about taking action here. <laughs> uh -huh. Very nice. Yeah, it looks like you're making some kind of decision. Yeah, it's a big decision, a life path choice, I feel. But I do feel like you're practical. You're looking before you leap. So there could be something from your past that you may want to revisit. That's something you always wanted to do. You Maybe you never had the money for it or you never had the tools, the knowledge. You have it now. Okay, so this is where I feel this judgment and this decision. Beautiful, beautiful energy. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. I'm just going to pull out a couple more here. Tell me about the decision. Yeah, so I feel it has to do with love, doing something you love to do. Some of you, I'm going to be honest, you've been doing a lot of focusing on your money. You might be ready to start focusing on your love life too because you have everything you need. <laughs> maybe but love you can look at it that way but this is often something that you always love to do so it's making a choice see i feel like you love what you do okay but there's something i feel that you never had an opportunity to do that you do now yeah very very nice but yeah it could be you've been focused a lot on money you may be now thinking of focusing on your love life so let's take a look at your love life they often blend together yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. You've got, you got a offer an opportunity coming in here. Oh my goodness. Fresh new start an opportunity, maybe even in both doing something you love, maybe focusing on your love life too, or finding that balance between it. Some of you maybe been focusing too much on money. Okay. Keeping yourself maybe a little stuck. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. So there it is. I feel a lot of this uh, overflow in love. You're ready for a fresh new start. I see an opportunity coming in. Oh, I see emotional balance here. Yeah, very nice energy. This card glares. Yeah, beautiful energy there. You know what you want. I feel some of you are now ready to focus on your love life. You have an opportunity coming in. Ooh, you have the ultimate provider. Ooh, we have the king and queen of pentacles. Ooh, two people providing for each other. You both have everything you need. You may be manifesting love here too. Focus on money, love, trying to find, keeping your life in balance is what tells me. The person coming towards you is also like that. Ooh, a little mirroring here. Oh my goodness, Aries, what is going on? I do see Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio energies are very strong. Mm -hmm. Looks like an offer, an opportunity. I feel like you're also very creative too, which is interesting. It's like you have all the tools to create what it is you want. 
But this person, this ultimate provider, this is someone often plans, prepares ahead. Again, someone who's maybe been holding back, you know, this person may be thinking things through. It could be someone who rushed in, maybe changed their mind at some point. I don't know. So, but whether or not you will, that's another thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you've got a new beginning here. You know, you've got new, you got new love coming in. You're ready, I feel, for something new. Some of you, it's a new job too, like I say, or starting something new that you never had an opportunity to before. So you're definitely practical. You're looking before you leap. Yeah, you know, weighing the pros and the cons of a situation. You know, you're just weighing the pros and the cons. Should I or shouldn't I? You know, it could be with both things in your life, but it's also, I feel, an energy of manifesting love, but um, having to balance out your love life and, and someone new in your life here. And, and possibly that jobs. If you have a new job too, again, going down that path and now you've got love coming in, you may need to juggle. Now, this is often someone who weighs the pros and the cons before they start something new. Yeah, I do see somebody who, definitely somebody who can provide but it's also an energy of someone's pride, somebody who's very, I feel we got two people who are goal oriented here because these are, this is the king and queen of pentacles, the power couple. So it has to do with planning, preparing for success, a victory. So interesting. <laughs> Let's take a look at this new. Yeah, you got someone who's ready for something new. You might have several people. You might have to make a choice, compare one to the other. You may be reflecting on something from the past and thinking. I feel like you're going to think this through, okay? But it could be this person too. It could be the same person, but I wouldn't be surprised if you've got two things going on. One of them is definitely work. So it's balancing work and then juggling your love life and making a choice maybe between two people. Yeah, cycles ending, a new cycle beginning. It looks like things are going in your favor. I see success and victory here. Oh my goodness. Some of you have, have I see acknowledgement for some goals, some achievements that you've made. You've achieved a lot, but I also feel another person. There's a lot of achievements here. So this is two very goal-oriented people. Yeah, but someone here is ready to achieve love. You got someone in their feelings here. We have the King and Queen of Pentacles. You got some love coming in. Now, do you even know it? Are you aware? <laughs> Very nice. So this is an energy where it goes in both people's favor. The timing is right. I see a windfall of abundance. So somebody here is definitely, some of you are ending something with somebody else. Um, and coming towards somebody new. It could be a person, like I say, they could be very much the same if there is two, both stable financially, but one of these people's more kind, compassionate, caring. They're more nurturing and they're emotionally available. Yeah, it could be a person coming back around. It's possible, but I feel for most of you, it's just getting off this something you maybe have had that was on and off. You may have decided to push the stop button. If it's not you, it could be someone else. So it has to do with divine timing. Yeah. Yeah, I feel this is absolutely gorgeous here, Aries. Wow. Tell me more about this King of Cups energy. Who is this person? What do they hope to achieve? Ooh. Yeah, they're going to let their guard down. See, letting someone in. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is someone who's putting something behind. It's a person who doesn't want to give up. So someone's putting something behind here. Someone's going to let their guard down. Now, this could be something on and off of someone who's pushed you away. So I do feel like you're going to be look at the details of the situation very careful. Okay, because you are. Be, I feel like you're, you know, being careful what you believe. But this is someone who needs to let their guard down. It's an energy of, you know, someone taking a stand here as well. But it's a person who's looking back, feeling beat up. Someone who's felt like giving up. But someone isn't giving up. Okay? So this could even be yourself in that energy, letting your guard down a little bit here. I feel like you're, I, I do see a sense, Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles are two people who often play it safe. They're a little cautious. They look before they leap. Okay? So that's where I feel. You're going to be in alignment with the right person here. I can already tell things are going in your favor. Yeah, it has to do with someone putting in the effort building. We have two people who work a lot. Yeah, I see someone here definitely having to let their guard down, letting someone in. It's an energy of planning and hoping for success. See, it's a person whose their goal is 
could be somebody, you know, like I say, um, could be somebody ending something else that's on and off with someone, maybe blocking them. But whoever this is, I mean, they it's it, the goal, the achievement they're hoping to achieve. I feel it's somebody going to let their guard down. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, we got somebody who wants to build. They're coming in to take action. See, someone's taking action. This is something worth going after. So there is that energy in your love life. Oh, I feel the overall energy. So some of you, it's your love life. Some of you, it's work. But it's an energy of someone coming in to take action. Something that's worth fighting for. They want to build. Yeah, we have a, have single people. See, two people who have everything they need. And somebody also maybe, like I say, uh, taking action. It could be someone finding out you're single. Who is this King of Pentacles here? That I feel like you've got someone new. Um, could be somebody who, like I say, it could be somebody here who creates a little drama too. I mean, if this is the new person... Um, or you, some of you might even have two people coming in, but this is a whole new cycle. See, something, a cycle has ended. I see a windfall of abundance. See, it's an energy of this change, and it has to do with the timing, where the timing is right. Some of you, too, trying to decide if you even want to connect with someone here. Yeah. See, you're being wise, being discerning. See, a lot of questions, I feel. You're speaking up, speaking your mind. I feel like it has to do with drama, okay? It has to do with somebody here, some kind of obstacles or challenges, overcoming some kind of challenges here. Yeah, but I do feel it's an energy of speaking up and speaking your mind here. I feel like you're being wise. You're looking before you leap. Yeah. Now, this could be someone who gives advice, too, to do with taking action. But I, like I say, I also see a little bit of drama here. Yeah, see a little reflection on the past. A little bit of drama, but I still feel someone's taking action. But there's somebody here. I feel like you're getting off the emotional roller coaster. Someone who creates obstacles and creates drama. I feel like you're not interested in that. You'd rather be single. But someone here does know you're single. There's no doubt. And I think you know someone is. I see reminiscing, longing for love. Okay. Yeah. Some of you are just reminiscing about something. And this is the thing. See, there's a situation. You might be comparing somebody new to somebody in the past. <laughs> being very wise and discerning here but yeah it looks as though you've you you're off of the, you're getting off an emo, emotional roller coaster or you have because i feel like you're now ready for new you're definitely enjoying the fruits of your labor you're independent you take care of yourself yeah see this is yourself taking care of you see self-care self-nurturing but you want love i actually wouldn't be surprised if there's somebody from the past uh, that you're interested in um, often it's a crush where you're just wanting love but if you don't get love or you don't get someone who's emotionally mature and available you're definitely not you'd rather be single because i'm seeing self-nurturing self-care yeah looking out for yourself yeah you want harmony you want someone who comes in right you want that balance some of you too are maybe reflecting on someone here who wasn't right for you uh, someone who's coming in i feel like you're going to have a hard time letting your guard down Okay, I feel like you're just going to be wise, though. But I do feel like there's something you're waiting for. Yeah, I feel the ship has sailed for someone. Honestly, I feel the cycle's over. I feel like you have someone new. If you have somebody who comes in and tries to, I don't know, maybe competition, tries to compete. Um, but I do feel somebody who's very dramatic. Uh, emotionally so, possibly, too. Someone who creates, I don't know, it could be somebody here who is jealous because you're starting something new where they come back in and then they'll just push you away again. I feel like you're just wise, you know, but I still feel like you're waiting for this new. And I feel, that, but I do feel the ship has sailed for someone. I feel like you got new, like they're both stable. I feel like you got two people who are stable financially. One of them I feel, and I feel yourself, you are too. So you and another person, I feel this is probably the new person. And I feel like you're comparing this new person to the other because they're probably similar in some ways you likely have a type uh, people who are stable and grounded sensible mm -hmm. but i see you trusting your inner wisdom here yeah you got opportunities coming in multiple some of you but i see some of you've been there done that yeah i feel like you're leaving the past in the past i feel like you have someone new although i do feel this other person could be past or just a crush 
something that didn't go anywhere, but I see justice and harmony. See, someone who's just right. That's when you just know the ship has sailed, someone's just not right. Because it's somebody often comes in and then pushes you away. And often because they're jealous, they don't want to give up. Because I feel like you want love. And I do feel like you. the person who's coming in is somebody who's putting something behind. So both of them, I feel like you know. I have to be honest. I feel like you know. There's something with both of them. But one of them, if they pushed you away, it could be because they weren't over something. The other person is someone who comes in just about when you're over them because they're jealous, because you're starting something new. But they will likely push you away again. Yeah, like I say, I, I, I feel like you, you already kind of know here. I feel like you're wise, you're speaking truth. Yeah, you've got someone here who knows what they want. Yeah, you've got a, for the feminine, you have a, a king of wands, a masculine. Um, it's Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, likely the same, but I'm seeing a masculine energy of the king of wands, someone who knows what they want and they go for it. It's a person who's taking decisive action. Yeah, they're come. This is the person offering you the cup. Yeah, you might have known this person when you were young. I feel they like to talk. They're fast moving, spontaneous, but you are still being discerning. I can say harmony, making sure this person's just right. I feel they do come in right. I feel they're offering you this cup, an opportunity. So it does look like there's several things going on. And it could be just this person coming in. Maybe it came in quickly out of the blue and your sword kind of went up a little bit. <laughs> See, putting up boundaries more than likely because you are a self-nurturing, self-care. You're looking out for you. Yeah, making sure someone has your best interest here and that's what I feel. But yeah, it looks like a new crush or like I say, that both of these people, you know them both. They're both past, but one of them been there, done that. You're not interested. The other one, I feel like you are. Yeah, but you're still being discerning. Yeah, see the goal. See, somebody who's very goal-oriented. But it's an energy of a situation that wasn't successful and moving towards this one that is. It's an energy of someone who takes pride in their appearance. They take pride in all things that they do. I feel both of them. But only one of them is one that will provide and give you the things you need. And I feel it has to do with kindness, compassion, nurturing, somebody who cares. Okay? So this is where you have to make this choice. One of these definitely isn't long-term. because Somebody's got a big ego here too, like I say. But I feel it's about what you can provide for someone and what they can provide for you. You, know, you could have someone who just comes in when they want attention. If they don't get what they want, the grass is greener on the other side. That's one of them. Yeah, you're going to see truth here too. Like a little aha moment. <laughs> yeah, what you have is an emperor coming in. Yeah, you have somebody who's, who's learned all the lessons here. Someone who speaks truth. They know what they want. They're confident. And I do feel this is somebody here who's going to offer you this. So yeah, the ship has sailed for someone, but you're open to this other relationship. I feel like you're just going to see how it goes. Okay. Yeah, the emperor. And this could be even yourself in that emperor energy. It could be a masculine uh, Aries here who's offering up this cup. Okay, or taking a cup from someone else, but it's the masculine who's taking the action here. Yeah, the emperor, very nice. Yeah, whatever it is that's happening, I feel you've been there, done that with someone. It's someone who I feel comes back around, pushes you away, just but when you're almost over it. But you have this person, I feel, who may have been a little guarded or defensive, um, because they weren't over something. And that's what I'm seeing because the Six of Wands is here twice. One of them's goal is to offer you this cup. See, this is somebody who knows what they want. Where the other person is, the grass is always greener. So, yeah, that's the person. Yeah, I feel like you're being a little cautious, a little careful what you wish for. But I feel like you're about to get this cup. You're going to get something that you've always wanted here. Yeah, you've got a somebody here who's very wise trusting their inner knowing so we have a king of swords also discerning and wise because they've also been through something so but it has to do with someone speaking truth trusting their inner wisdom their inner knowing so someone here's going to be speaking truth 
somebody with integrity, good morals and values. Yeah, you've got a couple things happening. As far as work, I mean, I feel some of you are just reflecting on something you did before. You could have a new job. You could be going down a new path, some of you. But boy, there's a lot of focus on your love life right now. I feel like you're trying to keep everything in balance. Like it's an energy of protecting yourself. Maybe everything that you've worked for. But this is also that internal work, you know, the healing. But yeah, I feel a big couple of decisions in your life here coming up. Big decisions. Yeah. It's an energy of whether someone's right for you or not. And that's where I feel a so, so, sort of an epiphany, a sudden realization. Somebody here is definitely finding out you're single. They're fast. They're coming in quick to communicate. But I'm seeing the multiple, so yeah. Somebody here isn't right for you. They're not in alignment. One of these people is in alignment with you. Um, they're goal-oriented. They, they're full of adventure. They like to live life. I feel they're also very wise, very intuitive. But they're also an emperor. They have a lot of skills too, but they speak truth. They have integrity. This is someone who'll just tell you anything. They're an open book. You can ask them anything you want. So uh, they are definitely somebody who's not into a lot of drama or confrontation either. So like I say, interesting. Yeah. So there's an energy where you've moved on from something and you have a person coming in. I still feel like you know who they both are. Yeah. But only one of these people I feel is right. Only one is offering you the cup. See someone, you've got someone who comes in for attention. If they don't get what they want, they just cut you out, block you, and they, you know, the grass is greener. That's what I feel. And I, like I say, it's telling you to look before you leap. Uh, take a little pause, look at things from a different perspective. You know, you've got someone else checking you out, possibly someone you've known before, or it's just a crush. Some of you, it is just a crush. I see a house, a home, someone who lives alone. They take care of themselves. You know, somebody who is very nurturing and kind and compassionate, generous. So this is what you're waiting for here. I feel you're just waiting while you're waiting. You're focusing on all these other things to do with work. But I do feel like you're keeping your whole life in balance here. But for a while, I feel some of you have been focused on one thing too much work. It's now time to play. It's time to get out and socialize. So really nice. Really nice. <laughs> I think you've got this, Aries. Okay. Wish you the best here. Wait for this emperor. No, they are single. They speak truth. They, they'll ask you truth to make sure you're single. <laughs> this is someone who doesn't want competition or conflict, and they don't want to deal with drama. In fact, I feel like you know, you're, it's yourself as well in that energy. But you've got two King of Pentacles energies. One of them, that cycle's over. The ship sailed. It's too late. Somebody who took too long. Yeah. Wish you the best. Take care, Aries. <laughs>